Hi, I'm Angus Monroe. The work you're about to see was cast in 1986, um, finished in 1987. This is a top view of it. This is looking into the actual casting mold prior to the actual beginning of the casting. It was a piece that I was casting in order to to really see how much detail I could put into the back of a piece and have it reflected throughout the piece. I really loved it because it was about the Chrysler building and it actually, the title was most of the pol political content in it. Uh, it's called Chrysler's Repose. The piece you're now seeing is a piece that I had at a juried exhibition in 1985 at the Fine Arts Museum of Long Island. This piece won the juried exhibition with four other people, or with three other people, and each of us got to have a solo exhibition at the museum at the time. What you're seeing now is me working at a glass studio in southern New Jersey where um, I had a fellowship. Um, in 1985, I had won this exhibition, and I realized I really needed to have uh, a solid body of work to show as uh, my first entrance into the world of ex exhibiting in museums. So I applied for a couple of fellowships, and I won the fellowship at, um, at the CGCA, which is the uh, Creative Glass Center of America, it's in Millville, New Jersey. What you're seeing now is a detail of the piece that I am speaking about and casting throughout the rest of this picture. Um, it's been oil painted, it's been removed, the, the blocks that you saw me putting in in the first frame, which I'm about to cover over right now, were removed when um, the piece is cooled. Uh, I then oil paint the, the empty space. I usually use a little bit of sandblasting and grinding and polishing and abrading to get the texture exactly the way I want it. But the first part of it is the casting. And you see me reach into the furnace with a ladle. And I grab a, a glob of glass and I pull it out and I pour it into the mold. I keep pouring until the mold is full, at which point I cover it and put it away. There's a lot to casting glass. There's a lot more, actually, to the cooling of the glass than there is to the casting of it. You'll see that the casting takes about, oh, 10, 15 minutes of time for me to do. The end result is a large block of glass. Now, that large block of glass will have lots of stress in it, and I have to take the stress out. And to take the stress out of that piece of glass, I have to allow the glass to sit and cool for a period of about oh two and a half weeks which means that I have to keep it up to the temperature that it's at initially for a period of time and then slowly lower it through a variety of stress points. Right now you're seeing me getting a few more layers of glass applied. Um, each time I pour it in the glass going in is actually heating up the glass below, so the seal between the two glasses is very, very good. The glass coming out of the furnace is about 2300 degrees. A little hotter than that, and the glass might um, boil or get um, devitrified, which is when it actually creates some crystalline structure. Glass is a supercooled liquid. Um, what I'm going to be working on in the future is actually liquid. I plan on shifting over in the next year or so to actually working with water. It's a great view of the boiling water right now. Um, and what my intention is is to have jets of um, pressurized water coming up through the surface, a still surface. Well, I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's short, it's to the point, it's just about casting this single piece.